Martha Stewart can kiss my shiny plastic butt. Here I am slaving away over a hot stove, making cookies, making Swedish meatballs, and for what? A man who doesn't appreciate me? Today's review, the bride gets her turn as we have a look at the Mezgo Toys bride of Chucky talking Tiffany doll. Tiffany was the devoted girlfriend of killer Charles Lee Ray before his soul transferred into the good guy doll that we would come to know as Chucky. After Chucky ended up in a police evidence vault, Tiffany used her feminine wiles to rescue him. When Chucky electrocutes her in a bathtub, he transfers her soul into a bridal doll. Now trapped in a doll's body, Tiffany joins Chucky on his quest to find the heart of Dambala, an amulet that can transfer their souls into human bodies. Tiffany is perfectly screen matched from her bleached blonde hair to her black work boots. Dressed in her bridal gown with leather jacket, she comes complete with her Tiff necklace, tattooed decotage, and lacquered fingernails. She also talks with six spine-chilling phrases pulled directly from the films. Tiffany is as deadly as she is beautiful, a perfect mate for Chucky. I suppose the first thing we'll do is figure out how tall Tiffany stands and using the Ultra Measuretron 5000, we'll put it right to the top of her head, which I think is about there. We're going to go with there as our place of measurement. Stopping the Ultra Measuretron, we're told immediately that the figure, the doll of Tiffany, stands 14.4 inches. I was going to say centimeters, inches in height. Don't worry though, we will switch that over to centimeters. Centimeters, that translates to 36.6. .6. Now, now, I know what you want to say. You're going to say, can you compare her next to the Bride of Chucky Chucky figure that we had a look at? Of course I can do that. There you go. There she is next to her groom, if you will. There is the talking Chucky that we already had a look at. Now, you know, to Tiffany's credit, I'll tell you right off the bat, she comes with zero accessories. She comes with nothing. Chucky only came with his, his knife, which is just so happens to be over here, but Tiffany comes with nothing. In her credit though, I think she looks better than, she, than her groom right here. Chucky looks like he's a little bit more cartoony. Tiffany, on the other hand, looks much more like she did from the film. She has a few shortcomings, which we'll talk about in a second, but I think she's overall a better looking doll. She looks more like she does in the film, and a whole lot better, if you ask me, than what Chucky does here. Getting a closer look at the Tiffany doll, I think Mezco has really done a great job here on her face sculpt. Now, this isn't a relatively new talking doll. I believe the comic book store in which I picked this up from just recently restocked the item. Up to that point, I hadn't had a chance to pick it up before. And I'm actually quite glad that I picked it up. Obviously, Chucky feels a little lonely without having his bride standing by his side. For other reasons, too. Like, looking at the head sculpt, that is a really good-looking head sculpt. It's slightly more paler as the Tiffany and... Um, I'm trying to think of actually his name, his son. I, it's going to, Glenn, thank you. Glenn's, both their head sculpts are a little bit more darker color. Up to this point, we have not gotten ourselves a talking Glenn. I don't think we would really need a talking Glenn in all honesty, but I really do think the head sculpt is really good here. It's got some nice airbrushing that they don't around the areas of her eyes, her very bright, piercing green eyes. She's even got the little mole there right above her lip. 
the lips, actually, speaking a little bit of that, are a nice dark, almost purplish burgundy color, and they've got a little bit of sheen to them. They've sculpted in also her little dimples that are featured on the side of her face. Overall, like this looks like she does from the film. My only shortcoming, and it's small. No, I'm not talking about the size of the doll, but I'm talking about her hair. Her hair, I think I could probably add a little bit of extra product to it because I think the hair needs a little extra lift. The hair sort of is flat. It's, it's good if I just grab her, not having her drop. It's good on the sides, but on the top, it feels like it could be filled out a little bit more. We tip the hair up. And uh, Mezco Toys has done a good job of sculpting and rooting, I should say, the hair in place. All the areas in which there isn't hair, they've sort of cheated by coloring. They've put like a little cap here. Let me just move the hair out of the way so you can see what I'm talking about. There is the back of the doll's hair. And on top of that, they've put a colored cap. And then that's the roots, that's where the hair is rooted into. It sort of tricks the eye because you look at it and you think right off the bat, she's got a fuller head of hair than maybe what she necessarily does. But I do think like the hair needs a little extra lift. I may be inclined, let's just fix the hair up so it doesn't look a little bit as ma mangled here, but I'd probably be inclined to maybe take some product. I don't know whether it be take some hairspray or a little bit of gel just to kind of body just to fill up the body up the top here because obviously it does need a little extra lift it's a little too flat on the top the curls are perfect on the side you can see it's got some nice waves already naturally in there whether i've taken my fingers and just kind of helped assist that or not may have also potentially made it worse <laughs> but the hair sculpt the hair as a whole is really nicely done just needs a little extra lift on the top. Contrast that to Chucky, which of course we remember, if you have already forgotten, shame on you. Let's bring in Chucky once again. The problem with the Chucky, one of his many problems was that he didn't have just nearly enough hair. The hair was not sparse. Sparse is not the word we want to be using here because it was well-rooted, but it definitely needed a little bit more of it. It was a little on the skimped side versus, I think, Tiffany, who looks overall just a better-looking uh, hair as well as face sculpt. Now, let's have a look at the rest of her body. She is wearing her bride outfit right there, a nice laced white dress, very long dress as well. Um, the material has a little bit of a slight sheen to it if you hopefully can see the light has reflected off of it of course we lift it up so sorry tiffany and she's got her military or like uh military kind of boots here underneath here it's got some nice stitching that they've added to it some add some nice additional white stitching and they've also sculpted the laces in there's a nice under tread there as well Unfortunately, to access her sound components, it does require you having to lift up her dress, but I'll talk about that in a second. She's got her full leather jacket with a zipper on the front. No, the zipper actually doesn't work. The part that would zip up is actually missing. It's not there, but it gives you kind of the simulated look that there is a zipper, a functional zipper that would be working there. A nice close enough look of a leather jacket without it actually being leather. It's got a little fastener down below, and if we just peel it to the side, I guess you could theoretically take the jacket off. I really don't know why you would want to. By this point, when she's dyed her hair, she's always already uh, wearing the leather jacket. Uh, but she does also have her, her little necklace there. Let me just tip that up a little bit. There we go. Necklace that says Tiff, and uh, it is on a real chain. And then, of course, the big thing, she's got the little chucky tattoo there with the knife sticking through the side of the heart and a little bit of blood dripping down just exactly like it was in the film uh, i guess we can look at her posability and then we'll go through her sound effects so her head is on a ball joint so she can tilt the head back and forth up and down and you can also take the head and rotate it all the way around sorry tiffany i'm just gonna rotate your head all the way around for a split second arms hinge outward there's one and there's one she has a swivel on her hands, which I might also add. Look at the fingernails. They've painted the fingernails there as well in black. The hands rotate all the way around. And like I said, the arms all the way around back and forth. She has the forward and back on her legs, and you can swivel on her boots. Now, one thing I find about Tiffany, though, is she does have some problems standing. 
Uh, this can of course be remedied by the fact you can swivel the boots out to the side to kind of counterbalance so the figure doesn't, the doll doesn't topple forward. But I find that there is this little almost off length on her boots. This one side isn't so bad, but there's something about this boot that I feel like the figure wants to topple slightly to the back. But I mean, again, if you just kind of adjust the feet out this way, you shouldn't have too much of a problem. Okay, as so, I was saying, I just banged my umbrella here. As I was saying, though, she does have audio, and in order to do that, unfortunately, I'm sorry, Tiffany, we're just going to have to bring your dress up a little bit. I love you, Chucky. Right there. She does have an on and off and a try me. And there's also the little button right there that will trigger her sound effects. The battery compartment is already stocked with batteries. Mezco includes that when you first get the doll, so you don't have to worry about buying batteries outright. The batteries are the LR44 variety, the same ones that Chucky also sported. Somebody had asked me in the comments section when I did the review of the talking Chucky, how many sound effects do you get with the try me option? And the answer was, I think I said at the time I, I gave the answer of three. Tiffany here cycles through two phrases when you have her on Try Me. When you f switch her fully over to On, then she'll cycle through all six phrases. So, for example, if I keep it on currently, the Try Me button, which is right there, and we're going to go ahead and press the button, which is located right here. See? Now that's the work of a true homicidal genius. And here's the second one. I love you, Chucky. Pressing it again, still on Try. See? Now that's the work of a true homicidal genius. You get two phrases. So what we will do is I'll switch it over to full on. That would be the one right at the top there. Just address her, just adjust her dress. And then again, we we'll can press the buttons to cycle through the remaining of her phrases. Which Goodbye, is, darling. there we go. I'll see you in hell. Oh, Chucky, look at us. Don't you love it? And there's all the phrases that she cycles through. Um, the thing what I do always like about the Mezco releases, even though the Chuckies, I do have criticized in the past that the Chuckies don't look as realistic as they do in the film. One thing for the audio clips, though, is they're always very clear. Let me just move the hair out of Tiffany's face. They are always super clear. Sometimes when you do get audio added to something like a doll, for example, it has the it has the audio problem sometimes where it does sound a little tingy or a little hollowy. Here, on the other hand, when you are pressing it, the clarity of the audio clip oh, Chucky, look at us. Don't you see? Sounds, <laughs> sounds just as clear as it does from the film, um, which is one thing that I do like about the Mezco releases. Even though I don't find them the most realistic of pieces at times, Tiffany definitely is one of the better ones. She looks like she does from the film. And short of me just adjusting her hair a little bit on the top just to fill it up a bit, I think this is a much better release from Mezco than the one we had a look at with the Bride of Chucky, Chucky. It's a bit of a shame that Talking Tiffany didn't come with more accessories. I guess if you count the Tiff necklace, she has one accessory. Chucky also had a knife. That's one accessory, but they really should have packed these guys with a little bit more than just one thing. Tiffany gets robbed the most because, like I said, without the necklace, she doesn't really come with any accessories whatsoever, but to her credit, she makes up for it with a much better head sculpt looking like she does from the film. Now, I know this is not a 100% dead-on likeness to the way Tiffany looks in Bride of Chucky, but it's a lot closer, one would have to admit, than what Chucky looks like. It's funny, for all the years that Mezco has been releasing Chucky dolls, I still feel like they can't quite nail the likeness to the character. Tiffany, on the other hand, if this is her really her first outing as a talking doll, they nailed it on the first go-around. Other than just adjusting her hair and just filling it up a little bit, she is really looking a lot better than her husband, Chucky. If you guys are interested in picking up either one of these, um, depending on what comic book stores you go to, some of them are now starting to restock these. And like I have, if you maybe missed out your chance to get these the first go-around, you may be able to find them nowadays. 
both the Bride of Chucky Tiffany and the Talking Chucky from also Bride of Chucky will set you back, here in Canada at least, about $100. Which I guess if you translate that to US dollars, it probably would work out to be just about an 80 maybe $85 price point if you guys are looking to pick these ones up for yourself. For fans of Chucky, I definitely think they're good go-arounds, Tef Tiffany definitely being the better of the two. Uh, today's video, we were having a look at the Mezco Toys Bride of Chucky. This was the Talking Tiffany doll, which looks really good, a lot better than Chucky does. If you guys wanted to go back and have a look at my review of the Talking Chucky, you should be able to find it. It's about a couple of videos back. And if you haven't already had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, make sure you do so, as certainly more videos will be coming your way. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.